No. They're gone. So whose blood is... Oh, no. Ah, here and lost! Ha-ha! I've been getting hungry! Shulk! Isn't that... It's him, all right. He's the one who took Juju. Juju and the others. Tell me where they are. <laughs> you want the brat? Well, he's right here. Juju! He's still alive. But don't think he will be for long. As for the others, well, I just couldn't help myself. I ain't no more. Welcome to our banquet hall. Tonight, the main course will be. You! <laughs> and if I've still got room, the brat will make a tasty dessert! <laughs> Murderer! I'm Zord, your host tonight. Zord? So you have a name? That's what they all say. Can't say that I remember it myself. What's he talking about? Oh, yes. It's good to see fresh meat on the table. These colony folk just didn't fill me up. Gado. The others. <laughs> Come on, boys. Dinner's ready. I swear I won't stop. Until I've scrapped each and every one of you! Get behind me! Right, Charla! We are hot, and we won't just stand here, waiting to be eaten. From Monaco, do you think that that thing can get me? How about this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not metal base. You have to try harder. It's the same as before! The Monado's useless against this guy! Let's show our host just what happens when you invite the wrong guest to the party. Hey everyone, Arshaka here, welcoming you back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Today, we are taking on Zord, we are taking back Juju, and all in all, gonna have an awesome time. Now, just like the fight that we had with him previously, the only way we're gonna be able to damage Zord is by toppling him. So to do that, fastest way that we can build up the party gauge is by just targeting these normal mech on, using Shulk's positional and bonus effects, uh, and building it up that way. Highly recommend that you enchant right away and uh, have all of your party members uh, fighting the mech on along with you. Uh, so that way, you know, hopefully Ryan can take off the aggro so you can actually get those positional attacks that you so desperately need. That said, I think we're getting pretty close. I think one more air slash should do the trick. Alright, time for a chain attack! Oh, oh my god! Oh! <laughs> that timing! Time for a... Time for a chain attack! Ba 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 Just, ah, uh, that time with the music, ah! Uh, so good. God tier, actually. Okay. If only Charlotte had a day's art right now. Oh. It's okay, though. I think we're getting close. Um, hopefully we can do this in one rotation. That's my goal, so we're just gonna go all out. Buster! Uh, maybe the slit edge. Lower the defense while we can. 
Ah, still not there. Come on, guys. Yes! Okay. Okay. Here we go. We'll never get to Juju at this rate. I've got to think of something. Huh? Where did you come from? You feeling hungry, huh? Chew on this, scrap for brains. Boy, now's your chance. Save Juju. Atharon, don't do it. Hurry up! At this rate, even if we save Juju, Atharon's gonna be... You see a vision you don't like? We'll change the future together. Got it? Change. The future. Yes. That's it. Right. You grab Juju. Shulk, what are you doing? You think you would stop me? No, I don't. But I can do this. <laughs> Let's see if that Mekon body of yours can withstand an ether river. Juju, wake up. Shala, leave the rest to us. Hang in there, you old fool! Fall, you damn machine! Atharon! Hold on! Shoot! What a shot! Boy... We can change our destinies. Athara, you won't die here. Not today. You cannot defeat me! Giving way! <gasps> He's gonna... It won't be long now, my friends. But not before. Gado! This is for you. This is for the people of Colony 6. <laughs> But I... This isn't supposed to happen! Atharon! Gado, I'll see you before long. <sighs> ah! Ah! Huh? That was close. Uh, you wanna hurry up? My arm's about ready to drop off. Thank you. Save the thanks for Shulk and his vision. As soon as I saw an ether river, I knew this had to be the place. Juju, you're safe now.
What did I tell you? You and me can make anything happen. Yeah, you were right. A boy who can change the future. I stand corrected, young man. You've done a great deed here today. I didn't really do anything. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Tell me, your vision saved me. But what of the others? What happened to Gado? Uh... I see. Sharla, take this. Gado would have wanted you to have it. Time to head back to the camp. We'll need to get Juju some medical attention. There's a freight elevator on the next level. From there, it's an easy route out of the mine. As long as it's working. We'll know that when we get on it. You make me laugh. Well, I'm right, ain't I? You're absolutely right. We need to move on and stop worrying about every little thing. Come on, guys. And once again, Ryan comes through and saves it for everyone. Seriously, though, like I, I hope by now you've you've come to just really see just how fantastic these cutscenes are. I will, I will never forget my first playthrough. That just that incredible sinking feeling when the claw from Shulk's machine breaks off and Othron's tumbling down. Just all the camera angles, all the. The, the way they, they sync the music so perfectly to everything, like... Uh, the limitations of the Wii are, in a lot of cases in this game, pretty glaring. Um, but I I feel like moments like that really shows just how masterful Monolith Soft was in, in creating and in, in kind of bringing certain emotions to the surface. Um, really cool stuff. Now, as you can see here, we do have Godot's Rifle, uh, one of the best early game weapons you can have for Charlotte. It has three gem slots, which is fantastic. I don't even know, like, what to put on it. Um, like, seriously, I got the electric, we got the HP. I mean, if she gets aggro, the extra agility might help her dodge stuff. Maybe not, I don't know. But that's really all I can think about. But, ugh, what... What an incredible sequence of cutscenes, and as you can see there, Zord, nowhere to be found, just completely, a, a completely obliterated by the ether. Um, if we actually take control of the camera too, uh, you can see there is literally no trace of him, man, you know. Might be a case of just trying to save him the polygons and all that stuff, or like literally, within seconds, just disintegrated. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> so... Uh, every time I see that scene, though, I just... I'm still reeling! Still reeling, guys! Ah. Uh. Okay, well... We did it. We got Juju. We got the old man back. Um, luckily, the escape route uh, to get out of here is pretty uh, close by. Um, one thing to note, when uh, you're going through the second-to-top area, um, the one where you have to ride the rotating piston around to the different sections and you're attacked by the crane, a mech on guarding the different little modules. Um, it's very tempting after you get to the second one to ride it um, over to the third. And uh, believe me, I've done that multiple playthroughs on accident, just out of habit. Um, uh, which is not good because obviously then you don't, then you have to like go all the way back around to go to the, the boss area. I can't talk. I'm like, my, my brain is fried, guys. So I apologize wholeheartedly. But luckily, now we can ride the piston thing, and now we can go to the third module, which is going to be our way out of here. That's what I've basically been trying to say. Oh, come on. Okay, well. And we miss it, but you know what? That's okay, because we get to just hang out. Just get to hang out and talk. And one thing I'd like to note, too, is, like, in general, I'm a huge sucker for Bloom in games, and, like, especially if the game overuses the Bloom, honestly... I really like that kind of effect. 
things like Shadow of the Colossus, uh, the game, this game's treatment of Ether, uh, <laughs> Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, uh, HD for Wii U. I don't know, man. I just like blue. Uh, when I mod Skyrim and I uh, use the custom EMBs and all that stuff, I always just crank out that blue, man. <laughs> I love it. So. With that, though, we made it to the Fright Elevator. This is indeed how we're going to get out of here. And luckily, it is actually working. So, thank God for that, right? But yeah, just look how high up that is, man. It's so high up. Let's go ahead and hit the bu Let's go ahead and hit the button. Bada boom, bada bing. Good. Works perfectly. You see? What did I say? We're all impressed. Hey, why have we stopped? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. Oh. Not him again. This one doesn't give up. This is our chance, guys. I'm sorry, did you really think that the Zord boss fight was gonna be that easy? Oh no. Now, Admittedly, uh, this will probably be a lot easier if I just switch back over to Shulk, but man, with everything that Ryan did in the previous cutscene, I feel like we can't help but just play as him. Now, luckily, because Zord got like severely disfigured by the Aether River thing, which, by the way, the reason why I showed that is because like clearly he didn't completely like dissolve into it, so where was his model Molosoft? I'm just saying. Either way, though, um, because he got disfigured by the Aether River, we no longer have to um, purely topple him in order to flick damage. He basically just acts like a regular mech on now, where Shulk can do regular damage to him, and Ryan and Charlotte can do damage to him if Shulk decides to use enchant. I mean, it took him long enough the first time, but hey, we're enchanted now, so I guess I can't complain too much. Oh god. So, for this fight, Zord has a few different attacks that really pack a punch. Zord Impact is definitely one of them. He will go flying across the screen, ram into you, knock you over. Uh, not a good time. But even worse than that is his Bazooka. Hey, there it is. Bazooka. It does a ton of damage. Um, I think I think it was a Talnar, if I'm not mistaken. But it also inflicts bleed, which having any kind of status ailment is really detrimental because it's like the worst way for you to lose your... Uh, Oh, what's it called? Your tension. That's the one. Okay, with that though, we're almost there. Ah, ran out of chant. Dang it. Come on, Shulk, finish this. Go, don't do it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Shulk. With that, we should be good. Get him! Got to hand it to you. You beat me without even releasing the true power of the Monado. True power? What do you know about the Monado? Sorry, boy. I can't tell you that. You'll have to find out the truth on your own. The truth? When I became what you see now, that's when my eyes were opened. It was a good ride while it lasted. When you became like this? What do you mean? Time's up, Pipsqueak. I'm gone! Zord! Get back!
We smashed that bronze idiot. Now the people of Colony 6 can rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, uh, Are you okay? Sharla. I thank the stars you're all right. Where are we? Just outside Colony 6. Thanks to Shulk and Ryan, we destroyed that thing. But not everyone made it. Oh? I'm so sorry. Shulk? Ryan? I didn't mean to cause any more trouble running off like that. Forget about it, kid. We settled the score. Thanks. Yes. But there's still no sign of that Mechon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. Hope I'm not interrupting. Oh. It's him. Metal face. Ah. Not just him. A whole bunch. And tons of them look like swords. 